Welcome back everyone. Today we have a person who just graduated from college and is looking for a way to get some enjoyment out of life. They're looking for a job and some other things that can give them some fulfillment they hope. So let's go ahead and get right into it. They start, I'm about to be 22 years old in about a month. And even after graduating university, I still have no idea what I want to do with my life. I got a bachelor's in business administration management mostly because it was a general major and my parents wanted me to go to college. I did very well but had and still have no interest in anything related to my major. I've been depressed for about four years now and it really makes it hard for me to find any enjoyment out of anything or motivation to keep looking for a job, especially during these times. My only interests are in music, writing, hockey and basketball, the outdoors and traveling, and video games, all kind of useless interests. I'm good at writing video games and music but those things don't seem to matter at all in the workforce. That's why I didn't go to school for them. I have been looking for jobs online, but I can't find a single one that I think I would enjoy. Even if I get a call back, which is rare, I find myself almost never following up on the call. It's embarrassing and I feel like a complete loser as I only have a few friends, no girlfriend, no job, and overall no place to go and no one to be around. I feel like everyone has it all figured out, while I don't. I want a job I will enjoy first and foremost, but I want it to mostly to feel like I belong to something and meet some and meet new people, I guess. My dad offered to teach me about the stock market and investing, but I never took up his offer. I probably should. I have other ideas to at least work towards something I enjoy, like starting my own website, YouTube channel, to talk about hockey, but I don't know how about how to go about it. I don't know. I don't know. I got a lot more I could say, but that's enough. Just wanted to get some things off my chest. Well, to start off, um, as for feeling depressed, I guess, are you on medication, talk to a doctor or a therapist? I mean, that's the first thing that you need to take care of. Nothing you do until then is going to make you feel any better. Now, I'm not a psychologist or a psychiatrist, but you really need to get to the root of what's causing you to feel depressed. And in a lot of ways, you're sort of stuck in a cycle that is going to keep you feeling depressed by like applying for jobs that you don't really want. Uh, and then you get repeated rejections and then you don't want to follow up. So then you just apply for a new job that you don't want. And the cycle kind of goes on from there. Um, so depression is one of those things like if you don't take care and you don't find the root cause of what's going on, it's just everything you do until then is just going to be kind of like putting a temporary, like, like a Band-Aid on the problem. Um, and then it's just going to manifest itself in different ways. So you got to kind of figure that out first and I know a lot of people are don't really like to get on medication they don't want to get into therapy they think you know for a number of reasons they think it's going to make them look weak or you know maybe they don't feel like that's going to help them uh, or maybe they've tried it in the past and it didn't do anything but it's one of those things you really have to commit to and make it a point if you want things to change um you know mental health is one of those things I think a lot of people brush off like thinking oh I can just think positively and all things will work out or if I just find that one thing that'll make me happy then the depression will go away and that's not necessarily the case um because it's usually a little bit more deep than that so um that would be my first suggestion um you know and the next thing is you don't have a lot of useless interests you know as someone commented earlier um those aren't useless interested or those aren't useless interests you know these are just things you haven't found you just haven't found value in those interests yet. And not everything you do has to have some big meaning or purpose behind it. Sometimes the meaningless things are what help us get through the dull moments in life. Um, besides, you didn't just list one thing that you're interested in. You listed a whole bunch of things. So that tells me that you actually do have a lot of things that make you um, excited and passionate about Um the reason I think you find them useless is because you're being outcome dependent. Um, you know, you, what I mean by that is you're expecting an end result from doing those other than just enjoyment. So like maybe you're, maybe one of the things is like, let's just say you liked um, hockey. Well, maybe you're like, well, since I'm not making any friends by doing hockey, it's useless. Since uh, I don't... Um, so since this, uh, since I play video games, I'm not getting a girlfriend by playing video games. Therefore, it's useless because you've you've set a sort of um, price on um, on your on your interests, and that's not that's not no matter what you do, that's not, it's not going to make it's not going to get you. You can't have an end result. Um, you just when you have an activity you like, you just have to do it because you like it. 
Um, you know, that's kind of the same thing. You know, one reason you might not have asked your dad to help you with stocks is because you don't see how you're going. it's going to help you in the long run getting a friend, getting a girlfriend, you know, whatever that validation you want. Um, but you got to go for it because just because you can't see the end result doesn't mean it can't get you to where you want to be. Um, you know, the things that you're calling yourself a loser for are things that don't really make you a winner either. They're just things, you know, having a girlfriend doesn't make you a successful person. Having a lot of friends doesn't mean even a lot of people even like you, you know, that's the material trap. It's just, that's just, you're seeking external validation. It's like saying, it's like you're saying, I want people to see me and say, he's got a hot girlfriend and oh, do you know, uh, this guy, he's so cool. Like, and they talk about you in this way that they think you're happy. Uh, you want people to look at you and say, I want what he has. Um, again, that's all outcome dependent. That's, that's not really fulfillment. Um, you know, the reason you don't think anyone wants to be around you is because you don't even want to be around yourself. You know, the way to find happiness and enjoyment in life is to start thinking outside yourself. You know, don't think about how to make yourself happy. Think about how to make other people happy. Don't hang out with people to validate yourself. Hang out with people that are going to help you find, uh, on your mission and you're going to help them on theirs. Now, obviously, if you you don't know what your mission is, and that's fine. You know, you're... You don't need to have your life figured out by 23. In fact, most people in thirty, in their 30s, 40s, 50s, and even 60s don't have life figured out. And actually, I would say most people have never figured out life. You know, trust me when I say this. The people you think have it figured out aren't even close. I don't even need to meet them to know that I'm 100% right. My question is, is why do you think that they do have it figured out? Is because they have tangible things uh that you that you want like do you look at people that have girlfriends and say they're happy oh that person has a job they seem to enjoy they've made it um you know that's that's that trap of looking at things and putting a price tag on it like value that you don't even know um on things so you know if you're on social media i highly suggest get off of it completely you know delete everything and quit cold turkey you got to understand most people only let people see what they want them to see you won't see how much their significant other drives them nuts behind closed doors or how many people go to bed wondering why they have people that want to hang out with them only because they want something from them um you know so as an, again, as the last commenter said, this is all a mindset that you need to change. If you're not seeing a therapist or medication, you know, definitely look into that. And then the next step is, you know, start getting out of your own head. Be selfless. Help people. Have a grateful spirit. You know, don't worry about having things, but worry about what you have to give people. Um, you know, if you want to start a YouTube channel, do it. Start talking about sports, video games, whatever. Look at other channels and see what they're doing and then think about how you would do it with your own spin. You know, don't do it to meet people and gain validation. Do it because you want to add value to other people's lives. You know, you have a lot to you know offer. I mean, the fact that you have all these interests means that you're a very, uh, you're a very well-rounded person. Um, that's a good, that's a good thing. You know, use that to your advantage. You know, when you start being authentic and selfless, the rest is going to fall into place. And that, that's how you find your purpose. Um, so, you know, with that said, just, you know, this, the first thing again, you know, figure out the whole depression thing. And again, not, don't worry so much about not having the right job. Um, you know, the average person, uh, that's, that's millennial and Gen Z, um, you know, they, we, we all tend to change jobs. I think it's an average of 11 times, you know, in actual careers more than three times. So, you know, being 22, I mean, really you shouldn't even be considering looking for a girlfriend right now anyway. I mean, that's, that is the last thing that you should be looking at at 22. I mean, that's, that's something that, you know, really until your mid thirties, that's, that shouldn't even be, that's too much of a distraction. It's going to keep you off of what, of what you really want to do in life. Um, so anyways, I guess I'll wrap this up. If you'd like to chat more, by all means, shoot me a message. I'm more than willing to chat with you. Um, maybe I help you develop a plan. You know, we can kind of come up with some things you can do to kind of, like I said, start uh, getting outside yourself a little bit more. Um, and yeah, if, you know, if you found this inf uh, useful, just please give me a subscribe or a like. And, um, 
yeah, I just hope everything works out well for you. Just stay positive, stay authentic, and we will talk to you soon.